so I came across how to what I came across and watched how to fix a football match um, on Channel 4 show dispatches. So in this program, um, I think they bring it across in a fairly honest way because they use undercover footage um, and a secret camera attached to Forsyth, which is the guy who goes undercover. Um, they use subtitles so no words can be misinterpreted. Um, there's no cuts between the meetings, you see the meetings split from start to the end. Um, they're brutally honest and they try and get out for other people the match fixing ways um, by going along with it. Um, and they use X3 for match fixing investigators. Um, they made it honest by having a negative title, so that automatically draws in the yeah. audience. Um, the timing of it was perfect to have a high audience that's uh, around the World Cup, so many people want to know about it. Mm -hmm. Also, it's relevant, it's going, it's happening during mm -hmm. the World Cup, um, and that's match fix that you see. Um, Dispatches is clearly a successful show. Um, with That was a series of 144, episode one. Um, uh, they use undercover cameras, um, so that again shows that it, it's not sort of set up or fake because um, we could have had high quality ones and gone over rooms and the sound's fairly dodgy Keep it quiet well. please um, And the sound's fairly dodgy as well. Um, here I'm just a short clip about what what it is and just so you can understand what we mean. In London, our plans to become official sponsors of Ghana's national fixtures were progressing. Match fixing investigator Kenny Steens is undercover and is meeting for a second time with our main football agent Christopher Forsyth. He appears to be offering to help fix an international friendly for us between Ghana and the USA, who at that time were due to play each other in the World Cup. Mm -hmm. So there you can see the subtitles, the hidden camera with bad quality and bad sound. Um, and you can also see how they've got the match fixing investigator going in to see them and these who are managing to do it. You can see the, the World Cup pictures, it sort of sums it up really quickly all in one that clip. Um, so fixing football basically works with the players. Um, they can fix the players or the game so there might not actually be a game on, they can fix the referees and they can also fix the results um, and this is all um, as part of a uh, money of everything is um, and the reason for doing it is because in Asia and in China there is massive massive gambling agencies um, and so they fix these results and in the end um, they manage to get a massive income from results that maybe never even happened if it's a small game across the country. Um, so why? Um, Seven billion was spent on horse races in Asia alone last year, um, but this is nothing where football is concerned. Uh, but one thing that did confuse me in this programme is they never showed estimated costs of the football, and surely if they knew the football of the horses was so much that then it was so little compared to football, okay. why did they not know any cost? Um, how does this relate to the truth? Well, um, it's dishonest, it's not giving the audience all the information, it's withdrawing information from them. Maybe it's corruption, maybe it's trying to make them think that it's more than it is, maybe it doesn't actually happen that bad. Um, and um, when he meets with a man in a car, um, there's a scene where he meets with a man in a car, the man is from the black market and he doesn't want to be seen so he wears a mask. So you might, it might not be him talking, he talks in a different language, okay. but we don't see a translator. So is this all here, his words being misinterpreted okay. and changed? Okay. Um, so, unsure of the truth, because of Mullen's handed meeting with the dealer, the different languages, the dealer hiding his identity, and he didn't want to discuss certain things. Um, so, yeah, any questions? Good, all right. I'm not sure that. Do you think... Would they have, do you think there's an issue with the undercover kind of photography, the undercover work, undercover cameras and all the rest of it, that, where, where do you think the balance lies between us thinking, oh it's undercover so it must be real, yeah. and the fact that you, to get into that situation undercover reporters have to kind of manipulate it to get there in the first place? Uh, I think that it's quite clever how they've done it. Um, I don't think that, I'm, it makes me feel like it's honest because 
um, these people after the program they got severely in trouble because they've admitted to it in the past and um, they met with the Ghana FA president um, and he sort of ne declined to knowing anything of it um, that these guys were going to undercover so I think if it was fake then I think the actions wouldn't have been so severe um, and so the consequences as well wouldn't have been so not drawn because obviously they're yeah. high up people. You know. okay. What could you have done to have made it more balanced then? Do you think there was anything you could have, or would they could have done to have made it a more balanced program or a more balanced portrayal of this issue? Um, they could have. Um, they could have shown more angles, not just the Ghana um, FA, not just Ghana FA side of things, and that match fixing. Yep. They could show it as general and as a whole, and they could also show the gambling, they could talk to the people who do mm -hmm. put the bets on and who raise the money, they could also talk to the shop owners of that, nice. see if they know anything that's going on with the, more with angles the fix and get more angles. Gives the viewer a better sense of the truth. Yeah, rather than just the one, which then leads them to believe that it's all true and it is all just for money, whereas it might be for things of morale or pride or might probably mainly money. But um, one thing I forgot to add at the start is, um, it's obviously um, the truth is hard to get across in a lot of films. Even just one cut away from a conversation can deny the truth of a, of a film. Um, and I think that's important because you'll never be able to get the truth across unless you attach a camera to someone and leave it with them for their entire life. And if someone knows they're being filmed, then they never fully truthful either. Yes. They always hold back or reserve a lot of the time from what they're saying. Good. Excellent. Nice one, Tasha. Thank you.